Come on. Damn, it's close. Mate, it's getting deep and it's getting uh, pretty damn cold. Darn it, I really need to concentrate when I'm cooking my breakfast. Well, that is not looking the best. <sighs> Hi, welcome to the channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before and hey, welcome to the French Alps. I'm literally about five clicks from the Switzerland border at the minute, up in an area called Val Serene or Val, Val, near the Swiss border in a little ski resort, near the Tour. I can pronounce that one. It's essentially at the top of the Chamonix Valley and I've been here for weeks now just meandering around, bit of snowboarding and doing my thing. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing on this episode. I'm going to hold my hands up. I really don't know how this one's going to pan out. I've got a few plans and a few things I want to do and we'll just piece it together as we go along. And to start it off, I thought I'd do something a little bit funky today that I've been wanting to do since I got here. I'm going to go get myself a pair of snowshoes and hike out into some powder. Should be a novel. For now though, I'm gonna try and save that burnt breakfast, tidy the crib up, and we can get on the road. Just gonna say it, scraping this paper off here is not the best. You're supposed to leave it on, it makes it toast, but it's supposed to look like that, not that. Wicked mate, looking professional. Emphasizing the word looking, i.e. we're not professional. I've got to say it though, just walking away from the crib, mate. Mate, so cool, dude. We made it to France, and we made it to the French Alps, man. In the crib, living out the back of a car, man. <laughs> Mental. Not knocking anyone, but you know, like people doing motor homes and massive converted vans, man. Here's me in the back of a motor. Wicked man. I don't give a shiznick. You've just got to get out there and do stuff in, in life sometimes, man. And yeah, I haven't got a motor home or a van. I've got a car. So that's where we're at. Oh, they're a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. Feel a bit random, but they feel good. <laughs> In all honesty, I just wanted to try a pair out for the novel of it. These ones here, these are 160 pounds, 170 euros to buy. And yeah, I'm never gonna buy a pair because the lightliness is, I'll probably only use them about three or four times in my life. So for five euros to rent them for four hours, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I do feel like I've got duck feet though. From what I'm told, there's not a left and right. So, I think I've got them on the right feet. I've got to say though, after two minutes of walking with them, they do feel a little bit like you've got to walk like that. I don't seem to be able to walk straight. My knees are a little bit, man. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Don't know. I've got them tightened up. Let's just see how we go. I'll tell you what I could do with though. Blooming sunglasses. My eyes are just like, yeah, getting a little bit snow blind from the past few days. Blotches here and there. It's not good. I feel like I've been on the absinthe. Oh, it is a cool little thing. They have all these plaques up like all around the hikes and stuff. This one's got like the different animals you won't see. There's one, well, there it is. There's the deer of those guys we're looking at. It's an ibis, huh? Also, I think they've got, I don't know, them ones. And rabbits and a few other bits as well. That looks like a beluga whale. I don't know, maybe they're not up here. Could be wrong, got the snow blindness. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the trail's getting a little bit sparse with snow. It was a lot deeper yesterday, but at least I'm not the only Muppet that's come up here with snowshoes today. Fresh tracks. 
let's follow them. They look like the same ones as well. Ah, maybe the same pair. Nice, found a bit of snow. Also, gotta tell you, I feel poop, mate. Out of breath almost. I don't know whether it's a combination of A, I'm unfit, B, we're up at about 1600 meters, and C, I'm still rocking the injury, which is sort of yeah, not the best for deep breathing. It does, oh, I'll hold my hands up, it's full of the series. Feel a lot better today. Took a painkiller last night, either PVP friend, whatever they're called, and one today, and it's feeling a little bit better, which makes me think it might not be a rib. It might just be a bit of a ripped or torn muscle. Don't know, I hope so, because if it gets better, I might treat myself and have another day snowboarding up here before we leave. We'll see how we go. For now, we've got a white little one of the land. Mate, I'm so psyched to be here, man. It really is special, man. I can't get over it. I have to keep pinching myself. <sighs> the Alps. Alex. Oh. Shit. Hello. Cascade to Bernard, only 20 minutes. In Alpine times, that could be about 45 minutes. It is, however, totally covered in snow. I don't know, I was thinking I wasn't gonna bother with the snowshoes, because it's not very thick, but it is quite slippery. I don't know, we'll see how we go, but there is, or rather this is, an official trail. Well, I haven't got the name of it. I think it's called Cascade de Bernard, and it goes 2.8 miles past the waterfall, up, and then all the way around. It's supposed to be something else up the other side as well. But I do think for today, I'm probably just going to be hitting the waterfall. So there we go. Oh wow, I hadn't expected this. No way. One, two, three. What a view, man. This is spectacular. I thought it was just going to be a little woodland trail. Oh, wow, it's a pretty stunning view, eh? It is a bit weird as well around here. I hadn't realised they've actually got a little ski area. I think it's just a learner slope. I'm not entirely sure. It's not a whole resort here. Might be where it's explain why there's quite a few people parked in the car park. I thought they were going up to other resorts further up the valley, but nah, probably stopping for a bit of this though. Anyway, we're heading up into the mountains. Hopefully blooming not. Imagine hitting that peak today. That's a good six, seven hour mission, isn't it? Maybe more. <laughs> no way, I've never seen one of these before. It's a kid size button lift. That's mental. I don't know where the bloody run would be. Looks a bit, yeah, I mean, the little river runs there. That's mad, I hate them damn things. Torturing them early, don't you know? Okay, come on then. What the heck is that? Is it oh, just, just, just oversized chicken coop? Maybe. Is it some sort of mini temple for something small? I don't know. It's a bit mad, isn't it? Or is it a half-hearted boffer? I really don't know. It could just be something built for looking fancy on the mountain, which it kind of does. Random. Not a clue. Nothing inside. And not even a view from here, which is weird. Just some weird odd shapes. Mind blown. Let's keep moving. Well, I'm going to hold my hands up. I was expecting a little bit more than this, but uh, uh, here it is, down here. The Cascade de Bernard. Not much of a cascade. It looks picturesque, doesn't it? Especially with this little restaurant here. I think, not sure, this might be the start of the Via Ferrata. Yeah, look, goes all the way down. Let's have a little bumble. The road's not too, on it? Damn, this shizn it's steep, dude. It is the start of the Via Ferrata as well, mate. Oh, I'm not feeling these steps too much. <laughs> Bear with. Oh, no way. Looks like you've got choices as well. Looks like you can cut across and over the yonder, or you can cut this way. Boy, this is uh, <laughs> a bit precarious. Why did I have to make everything see through, dude? 
It doesn't make it any more like, oh, build of confidence at all, do you know what I mean? That's a nasty ass drop if this thing just collapsed suddenly. You're dead, mate. Look, I'm dead. Straight down there, buddy boy. Oh, it's a rumble. Oh, mate, it's nice here. Wicked. Mm. Well, this is mad. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. It's a guy. Yeah, all handles and stuff bolted into the rock face, as you do. Coming from down there, man. Right below this little waterfall. Oh, man. Is that the start of it, or...? Is this the start of it? Ah, it looks like this is the start of it, look. Straight up here, and then down, mate. And across, and then I think you come around that way, and then back over onto this platform. Oh, that's the route. Bloody hell, mate. Oh, no. Oh, maybe that's an option as well. I don't know. Christ. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, there's a route goes up there. Screw that, dude. Damn, the bloody floor nearly gave way, look. It's a dodgy bit there, man, but here's where you want to see the waterfall from. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty dang impressive. Cascade to Bernard. Woo! Got it. What a blooming area, mate. <sighs> ah. Back at the crib then, and time for a game plan. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop those snowshoes off and then I'm gonna head all the way south down the valley to a place called Lazouche, which if you're a regular to the series, you'll know there's a car park there where I hold up for about eight to 10 days. Reason being, power unit needs charging and there's a plug socket there. And it's the perfect place for me to send, spend a couple of days prioritizing getting some videos edited for you guys and doing a little bit of grind. It's also gonna give me the chance to make a plan as to where we're heading next. There's supposed to be some fresh snow coming in in two days time. Let's see if we head out of the valley or back up for a bit of snowboarding. I'll catch you in a couple of days. New day, new location, kind of, back down in Lazouche. And yeah, it's not the next day, it's five days later. I've been trying to heal and just get some grind done. And I'll hold my hands up, yesterday I was gonna go to the hospital and get checked up and have an X-ray. And instead, I went up on the mountain and did a day snowboarding. The body feels about 75, 80% back to normal, which is why I'm gonna push forward and head to where we're going. It's supposed to be snow dumping at the far northern part of the valley, at a place called La Tour. It could be minus eights, it could be minus tens up there tonight, but it could give fresh snow. So that's where we're heading. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so quit your word with me. I get it, the eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand firm. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. Wicked games play, make me want to lose my mind. Found solitude, knowing it'll be over soon. Ever need a boost, count on me for the one, two. Trouble don't last. Oh, mama. we down the back roads. Oh, man. This looks uh, a little bit narrow. Oh man, I hope I can get through here. Oh shit, no. Uh, this don't look great. I need to go and have a look what's going on. Damn it. Wrong road, Clive. Doesn't look like a road. I can't get through there. Just pure slush and snow. I'm gonna have to turn it round. Oh mate, this is not good. I'm starting to flap. Thing is, I've gone through the barrier now, haven't I? Might have to pay to get out. Bloody hope not. Oh, let's see if we can get through this damn thing now. Got it, I wanna go left there, look. I haven't got a ticket. Oh, wicked, mate, we're through. Let's get out of here. Right, and up here, hopefully. This is a one-way road. Someone's coming the other way. World of pain. Let's get up quick. 
Righto, righto. Here we go at the back then somewhere, hopefully. Oh man. Snow's coming in, man. Oh man, this snow's coming in. I could get stuck up here for a couple of three days if it keeps coming. Could be hard work getting out, man. Look at the state of this road. Pole Central, mate. Got it. Right, we want to procure, if we can, a decent spot. I haven't got a scooby doo where. I'm thinking in the corner. Oh my god, it's a bog fest. Holy shiznit, it's a proper bog fest. Everywhere, man. I'm starting to get the feeling that this is not a good idea, man. This place is not flat either. Oh, that's crap, it really is. I might actually have to get the chocks out, it's that bad. I don't know. <laughs> Snow is purely coming in though. Oh mate, it could be a great day on the mountain tomorrow. Woo -wee. It's going to be a frosty one tonight though. Just thinking about the diesel here now. Don't know if it can be bothered. I have got the electric one, but it uses a lot of power, eh? I don't want to get me chocks out in this mud either. Got it. Look how thick it is on my wing mirror. I've only been here 15 minutes. Oh my days. Right, I think we need to get a little bit busy before we settle in for the night. I'm gonna see if we can try and find the ski lift for tomorrow and also where I can buy a ski pass and see what facilities there are around here. <sighs> I think we're gonna be on a toddly tonight, just saying. <laughs> Damn, downtown Latour, and honestly, there's bugger all here, mate. Car parking where we were before and all that. Ski shop, restaurant, and the main gondola area. That looks about it. Yes, on it. Hope we don't need any supplies. I think we'll be getting them up here. Shit. See how much the ski pass costs. I think about 65 quid a day. Let's find out. Oh, gentlemen, show me how to do it. Bless you. Tomorrow. And I will have my ski pass so you can scan it here, please. Okay. Uh, which way? No, it doesn't matter. Just as expected, 67 euros. It's a shame you don't get like one pass for one area. That covers like the whole of Chamonix. I'm like, I'm only going to be skiing here tomorrow, so. Oh, well, it is what it is. Ah, boom time, baby. We got it. 60 boys it translates, converts into. So, not too bad. I mean, three weeks ago we were in Scotland, it was like 35 quid for two or three runs here. We've got the whole of the mountain, mate. I'm psyched, dude. It's gonna be a brand new area. I've never, ever skied here before, snowboarded. I've snowboarded everywhere in, in Chamonix. Le Zouche, Brevent, Flageur, and the Grand Montaigne before, 20 years ago. But this place, I've never seen in my life. So we should have about a foot's worth of freshies, and it should be pretty damn sweet. For now, I think we're gonna go back to the crib, get settled in for the night, and think about getting some decent scran on. Trying to stay warm, mate. Let's go. Right, time to get a few things sorted. The old fridge plugged in for a start. And remember to turn the bloody thing on. The snowboard in the front. I've taken the other one to the shop to have the edges sharp and ready for tomorrow. Also, it means I haven't got to carry it all the way up there because the ski shop's right near the lift. All right, let's see if we can position this decent without cracking the window. That'll be legend. That'll do it. And the most important bit, oh, oh, oh. let's get the cooker in place and check it out. I've glued both legs back on. So we've got essentially a brand new cooker. It's not, it's filthy as heck, but it looks good. And it sits flat. Oh, and one last really important thing that I almost pray that works every time I do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's be careful with it. Oh, the plug for the lights that was band-aided by Nathan weeks ago. And so far, it's still working. Let's give him a testicle. Or well, game on. Happy days. Oh, always a bonus. I have brought a spare set of lights with me, but yeah, I'd rather not have to bother putting them up, you know what I mean? Oh my days, I've got to say it, it's getting blooming cold. Google Smurf or whatever it blooming cold, he's already telling me it's minus one and it's about half four, five o'clock in the afternoon. Or as of the guess, it's going to get to about minus eight, maybe minus ten tonight. 
I think we need to get some food on and warm up. And literally a ridiculous amount of food to choose from. There's a pizza at the back. And inside we've got burgers, oh, a bit of butter, some pancakes, check those things out. Chocolate crepes, they're a legend. Sneak a bit of bacon for breakfast. Still got some of these blooming things. Might use them up later for a snack. But what I think I'm gonna go for, because it's sat in here for about six days, is this. It's just a mushroom pasta and hopefully it's got meat, chickeny thing. Oh, I'm so hungry. Let's do it. Oh, this is so random. Look, I feel like I'm cocooned or something inside an igloo. There's just snow all over the car. And, yep, it's still coming. Oh my days. <laughs> my footprints are all covered up almost. I've only been out here two minutes ago. It's all fun and games, but I'm definitely going to be the only person here tonight. And this is blooming avalanche territory. I don't know why, it says something about an avalanche warning for this particular car park. Which is random because there's like buildings only about 50 metres away. But that's how avalanches work, isn't it? There's certain areas that they go down. Let's hope it's not this area tonight. I think we'll be all right. Mate, I've got really high hopes for this. <sighs> Until I opened it. Damn it. I mean, I bought it because I had high hopes for it. I hoped it was going to be really flavoursome, but um, yeah, it looks a bit debatable, to be honest. They're all small portions as well. Problem is, I think that was about four blooming squid. So it's not like you can buy two. It'd just be ridiculous. Eight quid for two pre-made little pasta meals. I should have made the damn food myself. Just been lazy. It's been awkward to find the ingredients, but hey-ho. That's what we've got for tonight. Might add a bit of water to that. Just a thought. I think as well, oh, I was going to fry them off, but I think I'm going to do it in a saucepan with a little bit of water, which is probably the worst idea I've ever had because I'm having to empty the whole entirety of the blooming food box just to get to the saucepan. Look at these things. Look, I've got filters for real coffee, which is out there somewhere. And off a mouldy baguette. These things are so hard, man. I can't find a soft one. That one's not. Good news. Got the saucepan. Right, let's see how this goes into the saucepan before we make any rash decisions about water. It's that stuff. Look. Yeah, it's a paste. It needs a bit of water. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little. I guess it's going to, like liquefy when I heat it, but I'm adding a bit. Not much, literally a splash. That'll do it. Oh, too much. Aye. Hopefully that'll help it to not stick to the pan. Yeah, right. It's gonna be a nightmare to clean this one. Game on. Boom, that's bubbling away. I think that's ready. I mean, to be honest, I'm only reheating it, aren't I? And I've had a little taste of it. I've got to tell you as well. It tastes really good. Basically tastes like a really nice mushroom soup with pasta and bits of meat. There's not enough there. I'm definitely going to have to scrunch something else later, but yeah, just what I wanted for now. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is dang hot, though. Right, I'm going to munch it up, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. We'll see how cold it's going to get tonight. <laughs> No way, the front window's totally covered now. Oh man. And it's still coming. Oh my days, it's getting heavier as well. Look at that, it's more like a haily snow. It was like big fat lumps of powder earlier. <sighs> Imagine what it's gonna be like on the mountain. Wow. She's starting to question my choices in coming up here tonight. Check this out. Oh, it's getting a bit much. <laughs> Pretty much every... Oh, there's someone pulling in, man. Might get company for the night. That'd be good. Mate, it's getting deep. And it's getting uh, pretty damn cold. Wow. Damn, I guess there's only one thing for it. Oh, we run the engine for half an hour. Man, get the heat up. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, and I think I'm going to get everything tidied up in here for editing. 
and get cozy and settle down with a movie for the night. I catch you guys with some fresh powder. Woo! In the morning, my days. It's gonna be cold tonight. Oh wow, it's pretty cold. Just pretty white. Damn. Snow's pretty deep. Damn it. Let's see if the car starts. Oh my days. Look at the state of it. Whoa. Nightmare. Still snowing as well. Well, this is not looking good. I've tried it already. And it doesn't want to start. Oh man, nightmare. Come on! Damn it, it's close. Damn it! I'm nearly out of power with the battery. Might get one more shot at this. All my days. Finally, that was close. Wow, time for coffee. Well, honestly, not the best start to the day ever, man. The lift's running, it's quarter past nine, uh, and I'm still waiting for my snowboard. Gazy said he was gonna do it here, and apparently he's took it to another shop. We're waiting for him to turn up. Not the best start to the day. I could be on the mountain already by now. Well. Top of the mountain here, then, top of the main gondola. It doesn't look too busy today, it looks pretty cool. I haven't got a clue what I'm gonna do. I figure I'm gonna hit this lift and get to the top. I've got a rough idea of the map of the mountain. I could just take some runs, man. Maybe just this one come down. Visibility is horrific, so yeah, let's just roll with it, man. There's a little bit of freshy on the ground and it's feeling nice. Oh my days, this is legend, check it out. There's white lines. We're a little bit late. I'm a little bit miffed with that dude with my snowboard. Uh -huh. We would have been here about 45 minutes ago and we'd have got fresh lines, but there's plenty of powder to play with today. Uh -huh. It's going to be a good day. The visibility is horrific. I think it's going to clear up in about two hours. Uh, yes, two hours. Maybe. And then we can find our way around the mountain. Yeah. For now, we Don't. just get lost. <laughs> right, this is going to be pretty interesting because I'm rocking a new setup on the board. I normally ride like that. And I'm riding like that today, so I might be able to ride fakie a bit easier, was my thinking. <sighs> Let's do this, man. Let's get the 360 and do a powder run. First run of the day, baby. Whoop, whoop. I don't know where I'm going. Let's find out. Oh my God. Oh no. Woo -wee. It's fluffy with a little bit of snarf underneath. Oh my God, there's the fluff. Look at that, baby. Woo, little bit of fluffness. Oh, that's nice. Oh my day's fluff. Wow. Yup, yup. All right, boys. Good that fluff, you know. Righty, peeps. That's it, man. The first one. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day trying to work out where I'm going on the mountain and finding the best bits of powder. For now, I'll catch you in a bit, eh? Back at the crib, mate. Boom. Powder day. The best. That was a really big day. A great day. Plenty of powder but plenty of injuries. I've done my knee this time, so I've got a shoulder, a rib or a muscle, and now my knee as well to heal over the next few days. First of all, I'm really glad it's thawed down here. I don't think I'm gonna to have to do any digging. Let's see if we can drive out of this thing. Right, let's see if we can get out of this snow hole with not too much bother. Come on, snowshoes. Yeah, baby, we're in, or rather, we're out. And talking about, I think this is going to be me out of the Chamonix Valley. I'm basically heading down to Lazouche now. I'm going to spend the night there, maybe get another day snowboarding for free down there, and then do a day's editing before I head out into greener pastures. There's rumours that Nathan, if you follow the series, the guy I met in Scotland, 
is going to be heading over here in about seven to ten days so my plan is hit a nice lake area a few other spots around and then meet him either in Leicester's Alps or the Free Valleys there's 600 kilometers a piece in the Free Valleys I think it might be there but for now I think this is going to be the best point to end the episode I really hope you've enjoyed it I genuinely do it's been a bit of a mixed bag of everything if you did enjoy it all the good stuff hit the like button subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments and as always you know you know from a snowy cold amazing little spot in the Chamonix Valley take it easy enjoy the camp and stay stealthy all right